This right here is a wheel with every single Clash Royale card. I'm going to spin this wheel eight times and build a deck using this wheel. And I have to win with the deck that I have until I can build a new deck. I have no idea how this will go, but let's find out. All right, here we go. Spin number one. What do we have? We have the Lumberjack. That's not a bad start at all. All right, let's go again. And we have the royal delivery also if you're new to the channel be sure to subscribe i would greatly appreciate it card number three is going to be the bomber card number four is oh my gosh all right next up we're gonna have some goblins okay after the goblins we got a magic archer okay uh we landed on magic archer again um i'm just gonna respin what are the chances of that happening honestly wall breakers Oh my gosh. And our last card is going to be the Fire Spirit. 2.6 Hog Cycle? No. We got 2.6 Elixir Golem Cycle. Yo, I don't even know. I don't even know what to think at this point. I guess we can split some wall breakers and see where that goes. All right, we're going to get the left ones to connect. That's, that's very good. Oh, he's got a bomb tower. He would have the best building to counter elixir golem when i'm playing elixir golem you know that that just that would just be the case you know that would yeah magic archer will snipe that bomb tower though then he could go on to do some damage he played the valkyrie we're gonna go wall breakers opposite lane see what they can do he logs so they do nothing all right this is bad because we're both playing cycle decks and i don't know if i'll be able to break through without getting an elixir golem push I mean, I, we're we're in trouble here. I guess we can try. We can always try, you know. Maybe we can outcycle his bomb tower. That's the goal. We gotta outcycle that, and if we can do that, then we're okay. Oh, he played his bomb tower early. I kind of like that. We can snipe it with the magic archer. Play a lumberjack to protect the magic archer. Okay, okay, okay. Those elixir homies are gonna do some damage, but he's gonna get like a bunch of elixir in return. Um, that's not good. You know, let's just do another one. Let's just go. We're just going for it. We're just going for it. I got nothing better to do today. It's a Friday afternoon. We're just gonna go for it. We're just gonna spam e golems. We're just gonna spam e golems. That's what we're doing now. My channel has become an elixir golem spam fest. Oh, look at that magic archer. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, my dude is insane. All right, here we go, here's another. We're just going. Oh, that magic archer. It got a couple hits. Wall breakers, go. Okay, that took out the bomb tower though, that's clutch. Nice, elixir golem, go. Go, it's the final stretch. Go, go, yes. I don't know what just happened. Anyway, let's build another deck. First up, we got some Rascals. That's pretty unique. Next up, we got Zappies. Okay. All right, we got Valkyrie. Nice, nice, nice. I love the Valkyrie. Then we're gonna run it. No, Night Witch. Night Witch. Okay. Looked like it was gonna be Lumberjack, but it's Night Witch. Oh man, Freeze Spell. No, Lightning. Okay. All right, we got a Clone Spell. <laughs> oh my gosh. All right, Pekka, okay. That's cool. At least we got something out here that can do some damage. And last but not least, for our second round of decks, we have ourselves the drippiest card in Clash Royale, the Inferno Dragon. All right, so this deck is much more expensive in contrast, and it has the clone spell, which sucks. I mean, clone spell isn't totally garbage, but for a deck like this, yes, it is. Like, it basically has no place here. Like, I guarantee you, I'm not going to use it. All right, we got a Hunter. Um, I guess I'll do a Valkyrie. Archer Queen. <laughs> oh, I have Lightning. Yes, I just realized. Let's go. All right, that that actually plays my favor. Lightning is good against Archer Queen. I can, I can make that work. And he has Mega Knight. And we have P.E.K.K.A. for the Mega Knight. This is working out nicely. I like where this is going so far. And what if we support the P.E.K.K.A. with like a Night Witch? Who knows? Maybe this goes somewhere. Okay, it's not going anywhere. Oh, no, 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 no. This is going... You know where this is going? This is going down the drain. I have an idea. <laughs> that was the worst clone spell in Clash Royale history. I'm telling you right now. Don't ever use a clone spell like that. That skeleton army behind that peck is going to ruin me. That's going to destroy me. Yep. I'm... I'm... Uh, I am... Uh, 
Uh. Uh. My tower is not vibing. You know what? I'm gonna play a high P.E.K.K.A. right there. All right. We're gonna do that. We're gonna run with it. All right. I'm gonna take lightning value on the towers when I can. I shouldn't have done that because of the E bars. But um, he's playing his queens smarter now. He's playing them higher when I don't have lightning in rotation. So like, I don't know. I don't know what I'm saying anymore. <laughs> I'm just speaking, bro. I, I just be speaking. You know, I'm gonna clone all of that. Okay. Maybe that does something. We got a lot of Nightwitch bats in there. Hold up. He logged. So now I play Rascals. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. We're doing damage. And that put me in lightning range. Bruh. My mind is boggled. I am befuddled. All right, let's go ahead and build one more deck. First up. No, 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 no. Okay, we're good. We're good. It's not expo. It's log. We're good. We're good. All right, next up we got... Okay, Dark Prince. That's cool. Then we got ourselves another Night Witch. I like it. She's my favorite card. I will take her any day of the week. Electro Spirit. Um, I'm kind of indifferent towards that. Barbarian Hut. No, Executioner. We got Ice Golem. Solid card. Um, Rage. <laughs> <laughs> Bro, what? All right, I don't really have any damage dealers. I need something for my last card that can deal damage, bro. All right, what do we have? That is a goblin gang. Okay. You know, this could have been a lot worse, but it also could have been a whole lot better. I don't know what I'm going to do with this deck. All right, let's try to win. I'm going to have to rely on like... Ice Golem damage on the tower. Bro played Zappies for an Ice Golem. He didn't even wait to see if I had like a hog ride or anything. That's an overcommitment, bro. All right, Inferno Dragon, Tombstone, Zappies. Is this Lava Hound? That's what I'm thinking. Nope. Um, nope. I was completely wrong. It's it's Graveyard, apparently. Good for the Graveyard, then. Uh, no, never mind. Not good for the Graveyard. This is, uh, this is a tragedy. This is another one where it's like... How do I do damage? Like, everything in my deck is like a supporting card. Like, every deck in Clash Royale needs some sort of win condition. Something that you can rely on to get to the tower. And this deck does not have anything like that. I mean, I got the log. But, like, log is, like, not a win condition at all. I might just literally have to rely on log cycle. Uh, that's what I'm going to do. I'm just going to play defense not let any graveyards get on the tower and just log cycle well i couldn't play defense i mean what do you want me to do a few moments later i'm gonna keep it real i've played like seven games with this deck it's not happening i'm sorry it's just not let's speed run another deck Hot Rider! ice golem flying machine dark prince minions archers the stupid idiot battle ram and last we got a fireball this is something much more manageable thank goodness that last deck was nothing but pain all right he's got a baby dragon what could that mean it can mean uh graveyard golem probably graveyard go battle ram make me proud you know, we got one Barbarian. I'll take it. It's better than zero Barbarians. Am I right? Yup, it's Graveyard. Luckily, we got Archers and Minions. Two of the better counters for Graveyard within the entire game of Clash Royale. And then after we defend the Graveyard, we can go ahead and play a Hog right there at the bridge. He might have a Goblin Cage. Let us see. He doesn't have it ready. So we get a lot of damage from that Hog Rider. It's a beautiful occurrence. Mm, thank goodness we got a deck that actually works. Holy cow. Who knows, though? I am me, which means that we might lose. You know, I probably just jinxed myself. We're definitely losing now. It's happening. Fireball that ass wizard. Get it out of here. The stupid wizard. Idiot wizard. Dumb, stupid head looking. Stupid, stupid, stupid. All right, there's a graveyard. We played a hog rider though. So we can't fully support that graveyard on offense. Yup, there goes the hog rider taking the tower. It's a beautiful sight. We'll play an ice golem and then a battle ram. You know, that's actually crazy. I, I didn't jinx myself. I normally always do, but this time I didn't. That's weird. That's really weird. Let me tell you something. These decks were crazy. But at the end of the day, this was pretty fun. If you haven't already, be sure to subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next video. <laughs>